Hey YouTube, welcome back to Tech S. It is Brandy's coming back to you guys today with a quick uh, overclock, a uh, quick look at 4.4 gig overclock. So what you're doing, this is the MSI UEFI BIOS. So what you're doing if you're in the, uh, if you have the MSI BIOS, you go to overclock and then you just simply go to the adjust CPU ratio here and you can set it to 4.4. Four, four. So 44, and that'll set it to 4.4 gigahertz. And now fixed mode is what you want to have this on because that'll make all cores uh, the same speed. Every core will be running at 4.4 gigs. And I'm going to look at more of these settings. The MSI uh, BIOS has so many extra settings and I'm going to research over the next month or two. And then I'm going to give you guys a full in-depth overclocking guide on this uh, motherboard and this CPU. But CPU core voltage, all you have to do is set that to 1.14 and the offset mode you can leave that on auto and i think it uses an, a mode called adaptive mode so uh, that's a new feature on the haswell uh, z87 motherboard so after you've done that so all you have to do is uh, really at the moment at the basic uh, just put this to 1.14 or yours will be similar might be 1.15 might be 1.16 and put your cores up to 44 as well and then all you do after that is you save it so overclocking profile, this is my 4.4, and just click save overclocking profile, and then just exit the BIOS. And then it should overclock, and you should have the super safe overclock. So this, in my opinion, is like the super safe. This was like the, I don't know, 4.2 gig on the Ivy Bridge. This is super safe. I think anyone can get this overclock on Haswell. I think it's a really... Um, easy overclock to obtain so we'll just boot this up and do a quick stress test show you guys uh, how hot it runs at this particular uh, frequency so let's get that booted up okay so we just opened Ida64 you can just get the trial edition of Ida64 it's 30 days it's actually a really good program I'm really liking it because it does everything it's an all-in-one so no Skype I don't want to upgrade goddamn Skype Okay, anyway, let's go start. So just hit that, hit the start button. You can go CPU ID here. Uh, confirm that the overclock is 4.4 gigahertz. And then it should be stress testing all your cores. You can just go to sensor here and it'll give you the temps. So anyway, guys, if you have any questions, please leave a comment in the comment section below. And please give this video a like if you like this quick uh, look at 4.4 gigs on Haswell uh, i5-4670K. Hey right, guys, peace out for now. Run easy. Bye.